Well, welcome back, Air Gunners. This is Zach from the Shooter Zone, where we are always staying on target. Well, I have something cool today. This is brand new. Just came out today for sale, so uh, I got to jump on this, obviously. And uh, what it is, is it's the Gauntlet 30, but it's the SL30. And what that stands for is side lever. So, uh... Many people weren't happy with the bolt, you know. Eh. Sometimes the bolt is a little bit heavy. You know, they did improve the bolt uh, a little bit from the first generation gauntlets. And so when they put the 30 together, uh, it was a little bit easier to rack that bolt back and forth. But still, side lever is what everybody wants these days. So Umarex pull through. And this year, in this new model, the SL30, which it's now called, will have a side lever all right there's not much else has changed with this rifle not that i know of i haven't seen any other changes um i haven't uh, seen umarex list any other changes but the side lever but the side lever again is what everybody wanted and i think it's what everybody expected so it's nice to finally see the side lever on this this is a fantastic rifle um it is a little bit breezy today so uh I don't know uh, exactly how tight of groups we're going to get, but really this is just an introduction. We're going to do a lot more testing with this. We're going to run a lot more uh, different pellets through this and, and slugs through this to see what it can do. But just so you know today, again, we have the Umarex Gauntlet SL30. We have the Marcool 5.5 uh, to 25 first focal plane scope on this. Great scope. I always say affordable meets precision. This thing is clear all the way through uh, from 5.5 to 25 zoom. Um, it has great clarity, again, from side to side, up and down. Everything is clear on this. And again, it is first focal plane, which is what a lot of people want these days. Uh, it does come with, you know, the little uh, shroud that uh, helps for keeping the sun out, sunshade. Uh, it is side focus, which everybody loves. Uh, it does have a lit reticle, but it's only the center dot that's lit red. Six different positions of power on that. Um, what else? Locking turrets, one-tenth uh, MOA per click, which is really nice because you can really fine-tune this. And I think that's it with the scope. We have... Uh, what else do we have on this? We have the Donny FL Yokozuna on the end to keep it quiet. We have the Hajimoto high capacity magazine in here, which we have five shots in there right now. And again, we're just going to put five shots on this target. The top left one is what I already used to kind of sight it in. And so we're going to be shooting at the top right. And we're going to put five shots through this again. It's windy today up here on the mountain. So keep that... Uh, Keep that into consideration. But again, we're going to do a lot more testing with this. This is just the the kind of preliminary stuff, so to speak. All right. Uh, just some additional information. It does have a 4,500 PSE bottle, 2,800 PSI on the regulator, which means, obviously, once you start getting around 3,000, a little bit below PSI on your gauge, you know, you're going to find some effects with bullet drop from there. But you should be fine all the way down to 3,000. Today, I just have it filled up to 4,000 PSI because we're only going to be putting five shots through this. So uh, that's all I put in it. All right, so let's do five shots. Nice and smooth, as expected. Again, we're going to be shooting at the top right.
Had a little hiccup there, but that happens from time to time. And this is the last shot. All right. Well, that looks good. Again, that's 40 yards, just so you know. I didn't say that in the beginning. And I will let you know what we're putting through here. Again, this is just preliminary, so I just grabbed these pellets to put through uh, just to get it sighted in. But they are the rifle brand Titans. Titan Field is what they're called, and they're 50.61 grain pellets, domed. Um, great pellets, but again, we're going to be putting a lot of stuff through this. We're going to be putting some... Uh, some more rifles through here. We're probably going to be putting some griffin slugs through here. Um, you know, we're going to put all kinds of stuff through here. So, again, this is just for test purposes only. But, pretty darn nice, right? All of them kind of touching. It's one hole, but a little bit jagged. But still, that's what you want to see. And again, on a windy day, 40 yards, I would say that's, that's pretty darn good. All right. Well, I think that's all I have for you today. Again, it's supposed to be nice the next two days, so I plan on getting some more uh, testing done on this. So uh, stay tuned for that. And uh, I think that's it for today. So, again, if you haven't liked this page yet, please click down below and like this page. If you haven't found us on Facebook yet, please go to Facebook. Look for The Shooter Zone on Facebook. And uh, till next time, shoot lots, be safe, and we'll see you again soon. Take care now.